Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fans here. So, first device that we will be having here is the Redmi uh, Note 11. So, in this device, I will be, I was uh, searching for a lot of, I was going through the uh, Telegram community or uh, the updates of Redmi Note 11. So, the one thing which I personally got interested in on this thing, oh yes, uh, 2.5.2. So this has been released on March 19th or, or else I would say previous builds also have been released but particularly this is the uh, last one so I have downloaded uh, this one on here. So here we we, we know all, uh, all the nothing features whichever uh, we had there most probably it is there and they have added the Google uh, Gcam Go not the exact uh, Google Cam that is fine here uh, we have the screenshot so which looks uh, really good and uh, this is the android 14 build so again i am uh, really excited to uh, check all these things so if it would have been available for my uh, redmi 12 4g means that would have been great but this is just a port rom so yeah next thing is first i have uh, downloaded all these things and here we have the bugs and this one so safety net uh, basic is passed but uh, that uh, I don't want to root my device so I'm not going to flash this. Yeah, first we will uh, check as much as uh, possible and then we'll try to make a review of it. Battery not the best for battery backup so it requires 5 hours at least. Don't set any lock screen security when on the setup page. Set the security after it's done. NFC is working but need to enable from setting not working from uh, quick uh, uh, status bar. So not best for this one and here is the this one. Okay. So first I will uh, download this one, TWRP. So first we have to boot into this TWRP. Don't DT flash ROM from other ROM, okay? And flash the ROM. If you want to refresh TWRP to RAM disk, I can use this one. So yeah. And then format the data, refresh TWRP and enjoy. So here we have the clear uh, instruction which I will be following through. So yeah, so nothing OS we have it in here and currently this one is uh, running at the uh, Shoyam is Remix OS. <laughs> Wait a second. I forgot the name. Shoyam is Hyper OS. So which we made a video so you can watch it. Uh, I will make sure to leave it in somewhere in here. Next thing is first I have to boot into fast boot. For that I will be this one and all the options are here. So I will do the fast boot. So if you have any doubts on this process, we have made a dedicated uh, playlist for the entire uh, Note 11, which you can watch. Of course, the playlist is available in the playlist section of the Tech Fans. Yes. So fast boot is now there. I will open. Okay. So I have to open the ADB fast boot tool. Here I have it, and I'll uh, CMD. I'll open the CMD here. Okay. Now I have to type uh, ADB or what fast boot devices. So this device is now uh, perfectly connected. So fast boot boot here fast boot boot should work. So we will check out the procedure boot to this TWRP. So booting should work. So here I have custom ROM and nothing OS. So here I have that one. I will just drag and drop here and enter. So now it should uh, boot into the TWRP. Okay, so we are in the TWRP. Next, what I have to do? Uh, I have to flash the ROM. So that is simple. I will do uh, ADB side load. So here I have first I will wipe. Uh, or else I, I no need to wipe. I think. Okay. So after doing, I can wipe. Okay. So first, what I do? I will flash the ROM. Uh, here I will enable the ADB side load advanced and ADB side load wipe cache and all week. Okay. So all the uh, data from this uh, mobile will be gone. So make sure you back up all the data before doing any uh, funny things. So ADB side load and then ADB side load and then I will just drag and drop this particular uh, nothing OS. So now it has started uh, booting. Uh, sorry started installing the rom on the device 
will wait for some time. So the ROM needs at least five hours to be smooth. Even setup wizard might lag at first boot. So yeah, this is not. Uh, this is would be they would have converted from the nothing phone one or something, which is uh, somewhat uh, mid range for processor seven seven seventy eight G. I don't know. So this is six eighty. So we'll see. Okay, seems like it has been now installed. So what I have to do after that? Well, I have to uh, format the data. So what I have to do? Well, I'll format the data now. So for that, I have to go here, wipe and uh, format. I type yes. And yeah. So TWRP will not recreate uh, this one. You have to reboot to the ROM again. So now what I have to do, I have to install this particular TWRP in here. So I will go here, in flash current TWRP, which should flash this uh, TWRP in this device. Also, this boot has been set to A partition. So that also great, it's taking some time, okay. So now, uh, before uh, booting to uh, TW, uh, this one system, I will boot into, now it is currently in uh, A partition, it has to boot into B partition. F to find that, I will just reboot to recovery, so it will again reboot to recovery. That time I can check whether it is in A partition or B partition. So Redmi Note 11 has this, what I would say, AB partition system, AB system. So still it is in uh, A partition, I think. So will check whether it is working or not so i'll reboot to system it should be b partition as of now we'll see usually port roms will install in the same partition not in the opposite partition so following that logic okay so it just installed in the same partition i don't know why it is said uh, installing in b partition or switching it to b partition or something so now we are finally booting into nothing OS okay so now we have successfully booted to nothing OS so we'll begin it uh, again